you can rent a girlfriend in Japan. So my incredible friend Jake has once again hooked me up with some free content. He sent me the link to this video. We rented a girlfriend in Japan by Asian Boss. Now Asian Boss has some great videos. Their interviews are incredible. This video is bound to surpass them all. I've seen the first few minutes and after that I thought this is too crazy to not do a reaction to. So here we are. Hey guys, my name is Max. Recently in Japan, renting people out has become a trending business and you can even pay somebody to act as your spouse, relative, co-worker or any kind of acquaintance. Even that sentence, you can pay someone to act as your spouse. Who what? Sorry for interrupting, we'll, we'll keep going, but it, it's gonna get crazier. We've even showcased ourselves here in previous videos, renting out a family and even a middle-aged man. But did you also know you can rent out a girlfriend? Japan, what are you playing at? I know you like to be different. I know your culture is, you know, like some parts of it are completely different to the Western world. But Jesus Christ, this is a new renting girlfriends again sorry for interrupting it's just it's crazy i can't stress how crazy this is it's unbelievable i genuinely thought that it was a joke video when i got sent it well today i'm out here in tokyo to rent one out and see if i can find my dream girl will i succeed or will i fail how can you fail at renting a girlfriend let's find out so I'm on this website and I never thought I would be on a website where I would try to pay for my own girlfriend. Imagine imagine saying that you've paid for a girlfriend. It's just it's just too weird, man. But I'll browse through them to see if I think anyone's cute and uh it's so creep, it's so weird. Scrolling through as if you're trying to order your delivery. Just picking out a girlfriend. Also, don't judge the blinds at 2 p.m. It's for the lighting. Look, this is horrible. This lighting, it's it won't, it it doesn't work. Okay, I like this girl. She's pretty cute, and I can rent her out because that's just how the service works. So okay, she'll be here any minute now. I'm kind of getting nervous. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ah. Uh, Yes, I am. Uh, nice to meet you. She hold me. Nice to meet you. So I guess we are already girlfriend, boyfriend, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Boyfriend. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I actually uh, already brought you something. It's a, it's a little gift. It's organic fair trade salted almond dark chocolate. I like organic chocolate. You do? I would you know, the first time I watched this, I was cringing so hard at this dialogue. For some reason, the second time watching this bit, it's not bad. It's like, it's not that bad. Maybe it's because I've already watched it, but my first reaction to this was, this is this is so cringy, this is so bad. There's something so off, well, I know what the something off is, is the fact that he paid for her to be standing there. Yeah, it's just, there's just something really off about it. I don't like it, I don't like it, it's just awkward. I was actually thinking we could share it later, so. Yes. Okay. Uh, and also before we go on our date, I was wondering maybe we can give each other nicknames okay, or something. Well, nice. I what would you I like? Call you Bae. Bae? Oh, okay. <laughs> that this is this is great. Chan. Shiho mi chan. Shiho chan. Let's go together and eat something. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's go. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is like a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be like this. I don't think Max has ever had an interaction with a woman in his life. Now, listen, right? I don't have a girlfriend. I'm single. But, uh, I am never, I hope, I pray to Allah that I never get as desperate as renting a girlfriend. I wonder if, like, the agency or company they're with, like, trains them on how to deal with people. Because I'm guessing that he is, like, one of the nicer people. And I'm guessing there's going to be some policy that's like, oh, yeah, she can back out or whatever. But imagine the people who are just, like, absolute dickheads to the to the girlfriends at the rent out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marbra's sprinting. Marbra's sprinting to get out of the rain. Oh, she better be sharing that umbrella, otherwise that's some poor service right there. 
I think she's sharing the umbrella. I think she is. She's not. Hey, give my man a bit of coverage. Come on, what's going on? He's paid for you, and you're not even gonna, you know, even gonna shield him from the rain. That's poor from you, mate. That's poor. I want you to surprise me. I want you to order for me. Okay, looks good. Shall we cheers? Cheers. Cheers. I really don't like videos that are like trying to film something that's meant to be like a real natural event i don't know if it's just me but does it just feel really invasive like you're not like it's it's just awkward and uncomfortable mm. Mm. Mm, so good. they both hate that they both absolutely hate that <laughs> look at look at their faces mm. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm. So good. And then she's singing the exact same thing, but they both don't want to admit that they both hate it. Delicious. So delicious. This is the top. It's hot. But it's really good. It's hot, but it's really good. Um, but what is this actually? What? What is shirako? Shirako? I've never heard of shirako. Fish seminal fluid. So in Japan, fish semen is a delicacy. Yo, you just you just eating the fish babies. You just eating the the unborn fish babies. I cool. All right. This is weird enough, and nothing can make it weirder. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, sure. Retting girlfriends, eating fish semen. What? What next? <laughs> you did surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Japanese people ate. Neither did I, bro. Neither did I. Fluid. Thank you very much for this. You can have the rest, though. <laughs> yeah. Please have the rest. I'll eat this one. <laughs> yeah, you can have the rest. Please have the rest. Please do not give me any more fish semen. Please. Mm. So, how long have you. Bro, is she gonna be pregnant with a fish? She's gonna be pregnant with a fish after eating that fish semen. Yeah, A level biology, that's right, let's go. You've been doing this rental girlfriend thing. And how did you get started? At what point do you get so desperate and lonely that you think, I right, time to splash the cash? I'm wondering at what point, because she's just said, right, it's men who've never had girlfriends, right, or never, you know, been in relationships, or never, uh, you know, been intimate with a girl. Well, actually, no, because that would make the rent girlfriends prostitutes in there and um, uh, that probably isn't in the terms and conditions of the job otherwise it would just be prostitutes anyways so so after what amount of time of being lonely does one resort to renting a girlfriend i wonder did somebody introduce you to this job how did you hear about this job <laughs> Is this pretty common in Japan, this service of renting a girlfriend? Okay, so it's still relatively new. How is the system work? Two hour minimum rental? Bro, two hours? You're renting a girlfriend for two hours? Yo, I thought the minimum would be like a day or something. Two hours? What are you gonna do in two hours? $55 an hour. 50. So the minimum 
the minimum price is a hundred. What's that? In, what's that in quid? It's, it's going to be like what, like ninety-five, eighty, eighty quid for two hours just to spend time with some random lass and call them your girlfriend. That's, that's insane. That's ridiculous. Okay, so wait, you've got to pay extra to choose who it is. You've got to pay an extra eighteen dollars. What was that like? Like fourteen quid? You've got to pay. <laughs> Mate, these these girls and these companies must be minted. They must be so rich. So so is this creating just an opportunity for just lonely like like introverted, low like socially awkward people to just feel what it's like to have a girlfriend? Oh, imagine you catch feelings after those two hours. You know, even even though I've had a pay to have you here, I, I really feel a connection, you know. I, I feel a bit of chemistry here. I, I don't know if you feel the same. <laughs> I, I won't lie, I, I do, I really do. How about we how about we forget that uh, you know you paid for me and then uh, you know, we can we can be together. You know what? I'd like that. Oh I'm got Oh, see you later, time's up. Thank you for your hundred and ten dollars. How much do you make you think in one month? Yeah, how much do you make? She gets a 50% commission. 50%? Jeez. So she's literally getting 55 quid for two hours of just being like, yeah, I'm your girlfriend. Hello, let's go out and eat. Bro, bro, I bet you when they go out to eat, like the guy pays as well. What kind of rules does the company set when they offer this service? Like what do they say is okay and what do they say is not okay? Yeah, so this is something I was wondering earlier. Yeah, I, I, would, I would have guessed that, uh, that it was very different to prostitution. But wait, is prostitution legal in Japan? Oh, it's illegal, okay. So yeah, it wouldn't be able to happen anyways because it's illegal. Do you feel like you have to be acting on these dates? Or do you feel like it's very natural for you? Uh, have you ever actually fallen in love with- <laughs> Guessing it's gonna be LOL NO I just get the cash and then I'm out Oh okay fair enough, fair enough. Damn, damn. So these guys out here renting girlfriends, they could actually, they could get a real girlfriend if they actually, you know, if they decided to socialize with actual girls and not, not pay for them. That's, that's sad, you know. It's like, yeah, you know, someone with, who's actual boyfriend material, just thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so lonely, I've got to splash the cash. Bro, hey, all you kings out there, if you're ever that down bad that you're considering paying, if you're in Japan, right, and you're thinking, I, right, been lonely for a good while got to rent a girlfriend no confidence is everything just get out there get yourself a I'm, I'm saying it like it's easy i'm saying it like i've got a girlfriend all right ignore me so what is your type well that is very sweet that's very cute you know her morals are in the in all the right places fair enough fair enough she's doing what she's doing she's making the killing anyway <laughs> enough questions for now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. So. <laughs> mm, mm, it's so good. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> what? Here? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're you are great. Uh, even though that wasn't that weird, did that did that just feel like uh, for anyone else? I don't want to use words like awkward or cringy or weird because, you know, it's not really that bad, but st mm. ah, I mean, feel a bit uneasy. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. Girlfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, all right, why, why was that the most awkward part of that thingy? The silence afterwards. Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that funny? What? Why? Why did the editors not just... Bro, these editors are just trying to make my guy look as down bad as possible. Bro. Oh, but this is your last piece. Yeah. It's okay? Okay, final. Uh, and now 
now it's my turn. Uh, uh, it? I know you're eating ice cream, but I feel like, do you want to get something else after this? Like maybe we can go uh, and get mm. coffee or cafe? Okay, Thanks. then let's, let's go to cafe. Does Max know Japanese? Like, can he speak Japanese? Or is this being translated? And then we're just they're just editing out the translated bits. Like, is he understanding her? If so, why isn't he speaking it back? Or yo, my my head's in the wrong place right now. I'm thinking about the the production and everything. Oh, that's cute. It would be more cute if it wasn't paid for. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just slandering this blossoming relationship going on. I'm very sorry, guys. I, I'm 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 ruining it. I should stop. Okay, so I'm actually curious though, you know, why do you think somebody wants to use your service? あの、忙しくて彼女は欲しいけどその時間ないからそういうあの本当に空いた時間だけ利用したいなっていう人とか気軽に利用できて。Okay, that makes a bit more sense. It uh, yeah, I did, I didn't think about it that way. But then again, so if you don't have time for a girlfriend but you want the girlfriend experience for a brief amount of time, Surely that would be so much more amplified if you had an actual girlfriend but you both had good enough communication to acknowledge that you won't spend a lot of time together because then that would make the small amount of time you have together really good. Or am I thinking too deeply about this? Should I just accept that there's a lot of rich, horny people in Japan? Why am I saying horny? It's not... I keep having to tell myself it's not prostitution. It's not that. It's not like that. Generally speaking, what kind of people use the rental girlfriend service? These are really good questions. Props to Max and the producers and everyone. Like this is answering like all the questions that I've got in my mind. By the way, do men give you monetary tips or anything at the end? Imagine paying $110 plus an 18 if you choose me girlfriend and then thinking, oh yeah, that was so good, I'm gonna give you a tip. So she's drained your bank account and you've just said, yeah, I'll just give you more money. End of a date? Thank the Lord. Thank Oh, I'd never even thought about expensive gifts. Imagine you rent a girlfriend just to give her like a two grand bracelet. You can you can tell I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm glad that's prohibited. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm guessing that he, he definitely knows Japanese, or at least he can understand it. In a different video we did in China, the girlfriend got a gift of 15,000. That's cap. That's that's what we're reacting to next video. We're going to compare rent a girlfriends in the next video. This was the baseline to find out what it actually is. Next video, skip the introduction. We're getting straight to the comparison. <laughs> Guys, 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 please do not spend 10 grand on me. I mean, 9 grand, sure, I'll, I'll take it, you know. But yeah, 10, 10 grand is off the table. Uh, so, do you actually have a boyfriend right now? A real boyfriend? Imagine having a real, having a boyfriend and being like, I am going to go off and pretend to have, you know, a billion boyfriends for the day. See you later, love. Well, actually, I'm saying that. There's there's girls with OnlyFans who've got boyfriends. Well, there's this whole thing about, like, you know, if your girlfriend had OnlyFans, would you be okay with it? All that sort of stuff. So, you know what? This isn't actually... It wouldn't be that bad if you did have a boyfriend. Nice. It wouldn't be bad at all. Do you think you can actually have a relationship with a real boyfriend while doing this job? I reckon you could. Yeah, exactly. If you both got good enough communication... Exactly, exactly. I reckon it'd be Some fine. guys probably would understand, but a lot of guys wouldn't really understand or be accepting of this type of job. If you started dating someone for real and he started doing a rental boyfriend, would you be okay with that? <laughs> That's yeah, sick, no, imagine. No. Just the absolute power couple, just getting that bag, getting the cash, both of them just pretending to be the girlfriend, the boyfriend of other people for the whole day, coming back be like, I, I, let's splash this cash. Last question, what do you want to say to any people who might want to rent a girlfriend? 
Get a life. Get outside. Get hobbies. Talk to girls. That's what. That's what I would say. Rent you. Hey, she she's promoting herself. I'll give her that. She's she's got that going for her. Many people will surely rent you out. Yo, her business after this video. <laughs> Almost 5 million views. Actually, I was thinking maybe you know, we can go out later. So, you know, let me have your number and you know, I'll, I'll call you and Somewhere Max, 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 Max. Are you, are you, are you making a move, lad? Are you shooting your shot? You all the confidence. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, he shot your shot. So I can't have your number. <laughs> Max. Apologies. <laughs> This was produced very well. Like obviously that that whole bit was scripted just now. I I, I, I like this video. It is a very well produced video. We didn't get to eat my chocolate with her. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Maybe one day you'll find the right girl to share your chocolate with. Damn, that was a good video, you know. Very good video. It's very insightful. It doesn't seem that wild actually after watching that video. It doesn't seem like that wild. It, it's still insane, but just a bit less insane. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning something new with me today about Japan, the wonderful culture that is Japan. And um, I'll see you in the next video.